What we're interested in is um, material science, and specifically the magnetic properties of uh, nanostructures. The problem is with um, nanostructures is that uh, it's very hard to, to take uh, advantage and to really understand how those um, interactions work between, between the atoms in, in the structure. When you look at a big structure, you can usually make some sort of approximation about how it behaves. But when we're looking at we're, uh, nanostructures and with nanotechnology, you have to go right down to the atomistic layer. And so what we're doing is using what we call um, atomistic spin dynamics to understand the magnetic properties within these nano-sized structures. So the research that we're doing uh, is using these atomistic spin dynamics uh, to understand how uh, nanostructures, in particular magnetic nanoparticles, uh, might be used uh, in biomedicine. Uh, and the applications that are very wide, but the way that we're going to do that specifically is by simulating many, many, many of these particles, how they would operate in the body, uh, how they'd operate in different fluids, um, and that really requires a very heavy simulation because we have um, thousands and thousands of these particles, many of them are interacting, and also when we're looking at the kind of time scales of the body and in biomedicine, we're looking at you know, maybe seconds the processes are taking place. But inside of these nanostructures, the, the magnetic properties are happening on, on, on picosecond scale. So understanding those dynamics is, is a very big computational problem. So the fantastic thing about uh, moving our code onto GPUs was that we saw huge speed ups in, in what we could do because uh, we have very close interactions in some cases, which means we can start localizing those properties and we can, and we can distribute that and that benefits a lot from having uh, many, many threads, uh, but, but quite a small uh, memory overhead with that. And, and, and that's a huge benefit for us. And what we've seen is that we can start simulating structures that, until we moved over to GPUs, just wasn't possible. Uh, and actually, another benefit we've seen is that we don't have to wait in the uh, supercomputing queue. We can just put some of these GPUs under our desk, and we, we've got them right in the lab. And that, that's really good for us. So the impact of magnetic nanoparticle research is really far-reaching. You can look at the, the way the hard drive storage is being revolutionized by that. But in particular, something we're interested in is, is the biomedicine. And we, we're seeing novel therapies for, for cancer and treating tumors, as well as new diagnostic and imaging techniques. So uh, it's definitely something we're excited about.